Hey guys, it's Tanky Cubed, and here I have an unboxing of the Cyclone Boys 5x5. So let's get started on this unboxing. Today I unboxed the Chi Yi Sail 4x4 and the YJ Yusu 4x4. I definitely recommend the Yusu over the Sail. But check those unboxings out, they're pretty cool. So let's get started with this packing. After many minutes of struggle, I have actually opened the box! Wow! So let's see, we have a pamphlet here. I have no Cyclone Boys cubes at all, I've just realized. I don't have any Cyclone Boys cubes. So let's get that out of the way. And here we have the 5x5. Five five. I don't know what Cyclone Boys cubes feel like. The stickers look exactly Shang Shao. Not really sure on that. Wow. Woo! This is different. So, the tensions are so loose right now. I'd probably pop this. Oh, wow. Impressive. I am impressed. Wow. I'm impressed on this. There is... Wow. I'm saying wow too much, but... There is an awesome anti-popping mechanism. I'm not going to open it up, but I'm, I'm really impressed. It, it doesn't pop. Wow, it might lock up and stuff. Oh. Whoa. So, that's like a minute of me turning the puzzle. Okay. So, through all of that, I feel a very crunchy cube. Jeez. It does sort of feel like the Hua Chuang. It's super fast. I, you know, I really might change my mains to this. I'm so impressed. Like, wow. So this cube is $13. So let's get this through our heads. The Mo Yu Hua Chuang and the Mo Yu Ao Chuang, the new Chuang and Ao, uh, old Chuang, they are over $30. Now that's over two times as much as this $13 Cyclone Boys 5x5. That is absolutely crazy. I would recommend this off the bat. Haven't solved it yet at all. And... It's so smooth, crunchy, it's not buttery smooth, I hate using that expression, it's not sandy, it's crunchy, and like really crunchy. It's loud, you can probably not hear my voice at all, because this cube is so freaking loud. Wow, it's, it's pretty nice. One problem that I will probably experience, and I'm feeling it right now. Oh no. Design flaw, no. These are the worst flaws. So, the problem that I'm having with this right now is the inner layers are slower than the outer layers. Let's try. Look at that. Now that is not good. I had the exact same problem on the Yushin 4x4, and that's why it is in my main. I'm not having any lockups. Let's see. I'm amazed with the corner cutting. Let's see. Great reverse. Not so much here. And oh yeah, you can't really corner cut here. That's not a good place. Yeah, but. After four minutes, it says on my 
phone, it says I've been talking for four minutes. Not really talking. I haven't said anything. This is horrible. This cube is... Let's get this straight. This cube is crunchy. It has excellent corner cutting. Hasn't popped at all, just like the watch wing. But has a flaw of the top layer being faster than the inner layers. The end slices are super fast. Faster than my watch wing, which is my main. And this has possibility to be my main now. If you are lubricating this, I would recommend a cubicle weight 4, a heavy lubricant. Weight 4 would be probably best. Weight 5 would be a little bit over. And weight 3 could also suit this cube. No Maru is needed for this cube because it's so fast. Now I'm going to solve this and I'll be right back. Now let me state how fast this cube is. Now how fast this cube is, it's crazy fast. If you put my watch wing and you tension it to at the loosest tensions, this would probably be faster. I did have some walk-up problems, but all 5x5 have walk-up problems. All 5x5s have always have walk-up problems. Not just some, always. The watch wing, that's its downfall. And this is probably the same thing. I wasn't having any trouble with the double turning layers. Just if you put your finger here and turn, it will work out fine. When I solved this cube, no lockups. I mean, not catches, but I mean lockups like those kinds of lockups. Those never happen. No pops. None of those have been received. I like it. I'll probably be restickering this very soon. In my overall opinion on this, should you buy this? Well, if you need a good 5x5 and a cheap one. Now, this isn't cheap plastic or anything. It's just a cheap price. $13 compared to a 39 something like that. Moyu 5x5. Five five. I, I'm not a fan of the Moyu anymore. This has changed my opinion. And I'm really serious. I do not tell lies. George Washington quote. Um, not really, but I think you guys get the picture. I would never lie to my viewers. This is an awesome cube. So, let's just leave it at that. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. This unboxing was around $40. I bought three cubes and some logos and stuff, so it was $40. I didn't show it, but yeah, so thank you everyone for watching, and have an awesome day.